Hello folks, I'm Filler B, and welcome back to Stellaris and the new Toxoid DLC. We are the Recyclers Union. We are no longer snaky as we were. Now we're more like a tadpole, fat on top, a little tail. We're evolving, as our species will eventually, once I get some more points. Now, well, I wish I had picked up those points uh, before. Where are we here? So we have the ability to get special species here, uh, template, special traits because we have this uh, unique background that allows us to do that, uh, but I didn't leave enough room when I made the race, which is my fault, so we need to work on getting rid of one of these. I might get rid of the repugnant trait uh, first, or maybe non-adaptive first, probably non-adaptive first to be quite honest. Uh, but I need two trait points to eliminate that. That'll create, free up a spot, and then I need more trait points. So we gotta mine the um, society tech tree to get more trait points. And definitely go into the ascension perks that give me trait points. So if you create a race that has this uh, special background, what's it called? It's called Overtuned, the Overtuned background. Then make sure you leave space on your race for traits. Uh, let's see what this archaeological site is. Strange asteroid with a strange door. As the scientist approaches GR-728, a vast and time-worn door is revealed. Who would have built such a thing and why? Perhaps the answer lies inside. Excellent. Let's continue on our way here. Our fleet's getting a little bit bigger. Ooh, intriguing. Silicon life forms. Very cool. Uh, let's have you do on av here. Yeah, we got one um, Construction archaeological site going. We got a few more in our empire that we can do. So uh, we'll hold Assistant off and get those done. We only need to send this one person to probably do them all. Have them do this one next, maybe. Uh, yeah, we'd like to continue to purchase this service, please. Still making decent amount of money. We'll get to building robots soon. I may wait to the second level robot. I'm trying to click on this uh, observation post. Here we go. Heavy pulse, sure. What are we on right now? We're on passive observation. I think we should go on aggressive observation. What does this give us? Or indoctrination or covert infiltration. When complete, the mission will annex the planet and give the NATOs a large but temporary happiness boost. Oh yeah, okay, so this gives us plus 8 science, this gives us plus 10 science, this gives us plus 10 science and minus 3. Make the adapter to adopt our governing metrics over time. Or, uh, this will just bring them into our empire. So it's minus 5 society research. How much do I make right now? I make 65, so a huge bump. be a huge uh, whatever um, hit to our thing only one thirteenth of our our overall science let's check to see what they are right now there can't really see anything there so they are spiritualists at the moment well I don't really want spiritualists so maybe we do the indoctrination first. That sounds like a good idea. They like tropical planets like we do. Okay. Are they all spiritualists? Ethics, spiritualists. Ethics, xenophobe. Okay, they are xenophobes and spiritualists. Xenophobes, spiritualists, militarists. I guess there's a bit of a mix here. Militarist, spiritualist, xenophobe, xenophobe. You know what? Let's just let's just bring them in. Just we'll just kind of covert off them. Sounds good. Construction complete. Has 
A mummified pilot, excellent. Cosmic diamond, very cool. While the surface of Rasphere appears to be an ordinarily white dwarf, it hides an intriguing secret by studying the pulsations. Our science crew has discovered its composition to be almost entirely crystallized carbon. This astronomical crystal lattice seems to have formed as the star cooled, originating in its gas, fusing core, and growing outward over time. This star is a diamond of cosmological proportions, glinting behind a white veil of oxygen and helium. Very cool. Giant skeleton. Issue special project to resurrect the giant skeleton. A hundred percent, we are going to do this. What is previously thought to be in assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere has been identified as a massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated back to 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that ONAB 4 could have supported life on that scale at any point in the planet's history. Science officer has prepared a special research project to delve further into this mystery. Can we make it this move again? A hundred percent. Research that, please. Construction Should do the drone and study at some point. Good, you're done. Come over here, please. Pull that starbase quick. So we got to get to this one so we can at least capture that archaeological site and then head down here to block off these people. A whiff of something. Oh no. This situation has been catalogued. Get those underway. Construction complete. Hasty. Construction complete. Hasty. Okay, you're done there. Okay, let's go here and research that anomaly. Good, new research. Hmm. Crime and amenities? Yeah, let's do crime and amenities. Let's see what this is. Asteroid Vault. Opening the vault raises more questions than is it answered. Contained within is an esoteric collection of items ranging from junk to what is possibly artifacts from a forgotten empire. I don't think this should mean esoteric, I think this should mean either exotic collection or um, another word I'm thinking of, but I don't know if esoteric is the right word here. Eclectic, that's the other word I'm thinking of. I think it should be eclectic collection. Assorting through all of it took some time, but we found some useful items. Give me society research, and that's done. Fun. You're finished over here. Let's have you come over to this one. And excavate that site. A system has been surveyed. Um, we'll go to the shipyard and we'll build yeah, two more corvettes. Get us up to 20. Not weak. I don't want to be weak in our neighbor's eyes. Have any information yet? No. Nope. What about over here? No. Nope. Are you hostile yet? Sure, you could research that. You're suspicious still. Okay. Our initial infiltration cells are placed on Alphanor 4. Codex 
Crystal Codex, a mineral cluster of holographic referred, multi side many edged, and translucent remains secure in the tractor beam, but our experts will need some time to decode its contents. Special project is issued. This situation has been cataloged. Sure. Okay, one skeletal giant army in orbit. The skeletal remains are moving once more. The behemoth towers above our necromancers as it takes a shaky stride, followed by another, more steady. It might have some amount of legs it can had in life. It might have the same amount of legs it had in life, or the correct number of appendages, but using a mix of lab-grown muscles as well as state-of-the-art hydraulic replacements, the giant is ready to aid us in any battlefield, and the earth below its feet shall tremble. Perfect. Let's take a look at this guy. On its own, it's 180. That's pretty good. Skeletal Giant Transport Ship. Host of Mega Class. Interesting. Well, let's bring you back to uh, Capital. Uh, this scientist can go over here and research that. Uh, you're done over here, so why don't you research this one for me, please? Research complete. And we'll look at a research. There we go. Oh, good. FDL. Yep. Uh, let's get the shields. This Alien Barrett Project. All right. Let's take a look at this stuff. What do we got here? We got Crystal Codex. I need a science ship in board. Alien Barracks. I need a science ship in orbit. Okay. Well, let's get these done. Research Project. The other research project is this system. Do I have a ship here? I do not. And the Almac system. Well, I guess that's you. Okay, I'll send you back there to do that once you're done. Too few sheep. We need those minerals now? No, we can do that. No, research this, please. Fascinating. Uh, anything else over here that we should research? Yep, this one. Research log. Alien Barrack is done. ship is done. Why don't you come over here and build that one, please? Let's get to colonizing another planet. We'll colonize this one. Surprise catch. Ooh, a new asset. Excellent. Crystal Codex. Holographic data documents of the terms and conditions for a trilateral trade between three major alien powers that once dominated the quadrant. Context eludes us, and the details are meaningless, but science officer feels that this find will prove invaluable in improving our own ability to communicate with alien forces. Not that useful. Give me a bit of society research. Alright. Let's have you come over here and research this one. Excellent. Still no info here. Alright. Message in a bottle. As we expected, the interior of the solar sailor is 
appropriately archaic. The bridge resembles the deck of an old planet-bound sailing ship designed to sail on watery seas. The deck plating appears to be metal, but the surfaces are covered with carved wood. Powering up the ship computers, we have found a data file with old-fashioned seafarer's song. Alright, this is a sea chanty one. Which I'm not going to finish reading out this particular one, because we've seen that in previous series. And really, it's just a bunch of sea shanties. Oh, we got another one. Keep to yourself, please. Where are you? You're up here. Perfect. Let's have you head over here. Yeah, that blocks them off nicely. Looks like we have a lot of territory on our own here. I'm not sure where that goes, but it may be all ours. We'll have to see. Star patterns. Okay. We'll just let that one go. Uh, you're over here. Let's grab that. And you're over here. Sure. Pause that. Uh, let's grab this really nasty one. And we'll check out this. This is the siege sanity coming along. Okay, not a problem. Research complete. Our destroyers are done. Oh, you see amusement park. Excellent. Uh, Starhold might be good. Let's get the mining upgrade first. Excellent. Geothermal. More physics research. Now oh, here we go. So we got building upkeep and district upkeep. Specialist pop resource output that might be good. More clerk jobs we don't really want right now. Building and districts have their build costs reduced by 10. Sure, let's do that. And then I'm going to do um, Pursuit of Profit, and then Public Works, and then Interstellar Financing. Let's check our planets here. How are they doing? Good, we can upgrade our capital ships. We'll do that. We'll upgrade this capital building. Perfect. You, my friend, could definitely use some jobs. Uh, you're going to need amenities soon, so let's build a hollow theater. And while we're at it, should we get robots? Is it robot time? I'm going to wait for at least one robot upgrade tech before I do that. Uh, let's grab... I got lots and lots of this, so let's grab a civilian industry here. Uh, and while we're at it, I want you to be... Uh, maybe one more housing unit? Yeah. Uh, you could use housing as well. Let's bump that up. You're okay for housing. Could use a bit more of this. And a bit more of this. Let's grab uh, one more industrial district while we're at it. How's this coming along? what I wanted. This is what I wanted. We're getting there. Construction completed. Good. Call. Next stage is done there. Gas giant signal. This situation sure. Catalog. Research that project. Why not? More of the uh, the singing. The system has been survived. Wood is done here. Excellent. So let's um build that. While we're waiting. Do I want to grab this? A system has been surveyed. I mean, this six is pretty good. This is effectively, if I can put a star base out here, this is effectively a Light show. Oh, we got blue lasers. Perfect. Let's pause for a second here. So this is effectively a eight energy system. If I have a star base here, like collecting the trade, 
So if I stick a star base here, I can collect the trade from this one as well. And this one. So that would be uh, 3, 5, 11. And a star base. So maybe I'll do that. I'll have this, um, sorry, uh, this builder finish building over there. Okay, we have blue lasers. That's super. Our colonists have reached their destination. Good. Uh, good. Improve shields. That's excellent. Uh, let's get more energy. And let's take a look at our ships. Ship designer here. So let's design two new ships. We need a corvette. Uh, let's do missile boats. I like missile boats. Missile boats with lasers. Two lasers. And missiles. Uh, is there any reason the lasers didn't go down? There we go. Now we'll get some shields going. And an armor. Excellent. I don't really need the reactor booster, so we'll leave that. Swarm or picket. We'll leave swarm. And all this stays the same. We got the level 2 reactor already. Okay. Let's get rid of this. We'll auto take that off. We'll auto upgrade. And what should we call this? So. Recyclers. along with the theme of recyclers and recycling things. So I think our cruisers will be called reassemblers, because I kind of like that name. I think our destroyers will be called the collector class. Maybe this will be the scrapper class? Sure, let's call this a scrapper class. Yeah. Okay. And then let's uh, new design uh, destroyer. Uh, and this one we will make um, a gunship with picket. Sure. Lasers again. We'll be laser oriented this time. And let's do flak, point defense kinetic, point defense energy, accuracy tracking range 30, accuracy tracking range 30. Let's do sentinel point defense. Why not? Stick a bunch of shields on armor. You know what, I'm going to make this, uh, for now, I'll make this another gunship. Stick a blue laser on. Don't need the reactor. And we'll call this the uh, collector. Auto upgrade, please, and save. Now let's get rid of these uh, other ones, the festering cuts in the, the um, Infected. We'll call that or that. There we go. So let's build a few of these uh, for our fleet. We can certainly have enough. We'll get uh, two destroyers going. Construction completed. Okay, you're done here. So let's uh, grab this one, I suppose. Yeah, it does have a uh, big science thing there, so does that one. That one does not. And that one does not. The event Gas Giant Transmission happens. Ah. Oh, this is the gas people. You have no technology, how are we speaking? What happened to your planet? We were transporting the... We help you with Sorry, too much of a hassle. No thank you. It's not our race's jam to do that kind of stuff. So let's um, head over here and research that one. And 
you're over here. Okay, let's research that, please. An anomaly has been found. Keep that up. Get our two destroyers something? going. There's one. And mining station output is excellent. Uh, Corvette hull points would be useful. Sure. Study it from afar, or crack it open. Scientists discovered something rather monstrous. The mountain range they scanned earlier was actually the outer membrane of a gigantic egg. It's uncertain what the behemoth could lay with such an egg and what horror would hatch from it. Crack the egg or study it from afar. Crack the egg or study it from afar. Uh, we sound like we would crack eggs. So let's do that. Let's research that project, please. Oh, the Zivin Labs. Singing Planet, super. Where are you? You're over here. All right, let's um, survey that system, please. Ah, good, we annex the planet. Compliments. After achieving complete domination of the Mitron political leadership, our infiltration cells have successfully paved the way for arrival of our first contact unit. In a lavish ceremony held at the new planetary capital, our diplomatic envoy graciously accepted a petition signed by every world leader on the planet, calling for the planet's immediate annexation into the Recycler's Union. The jubilant citizens are crowding the streets, cheering their new alien benefactors. Little do they know they're going to be a safe class. So, you guys could really use uh, some entertainment, so let's build an entertainment forum. Uh, let's also build uh, a dread encampment. Let's also upgrade the capital. And uh, maybe we'll build a precinct here. Precinct house. And that should help out. No, oh, you have a lot of stuff wrong with your planet. Why don't you get rid of some of this stuff, though? It's good. Uh, decisions. We want to. launch the anti-crime campaign and then let's take a look at the species so we got the Mitron here yeah, endangered servitude seems good basic subsistence I think they can go to decent conditions from days of subsistence they will serve us. And how is the planet? Not bad, 47. It's coming along. Construction completed. Hastily. Super. More lyrics. Construction ship here is done. All right, let's go over here and build that outpost. Research complete. You know, crime and amenities being good. Building slot could be good. Heat expunge could be good. Let's do that. And base intel. Oh yeah. We 
should build our fleet up a little bit more. Hmm. Presence of a decaying orbit stations around multiple tomb worlds near the Furid system. Whatever the interstellar nature once inhabited the Furid system appears to have collapsed long ago. Fallen outpost is a junkyard of a planet covered in irradiated rusting remains and demolished buildings, infrastructure, and vehicles. No higher forms of life are recognizable. You might gain more insight into this lost civilization by surveying any similar planets in the neighboring systems. Fascinating. The system has been surveyed. I still can't believe there's nobody over here. Oh, we've successfully blocked these guys off here, which is good. Okay, hold on, let's pause. You're done. Okay, so I want you to uh, finish this stuff. Uh, you're done over here. Uh, I'd like you to pick up this. Do we have enough? We do. And then Perquim. That'll block off that. And that takes us to the end of this episode. Super. Um, we've gotten pretty far. We should fill in this little section in our middle here, but I'm worried about uh, um, getting our borders secure here. So we got this border secure now. That's good. This border is secure. We, we snuck this in really fast. Blocked these guys right off. And they seem to be squished against another empire, so that's good. And the Havol Kingdom are rivals. We managed to cut them off as well. But for how long, I'm not sure. We'll need to definitely take a few more systems to make sure they don't come across. Because like I said previously, um, building outposts and claiming systems um, right next to each other, like if I were to claim this system, cost me a small amount of influence. But if I claimed a system that was two away, that costs, I can, but it costs me much more influence, and then three away is even more influence, and so they can do it if they build up influence, and sometimes the AI sits on a whole bunch of influence and will do silly things like that, so I gotta make sure they do not. In any case, hope you're enjoying the series, um, and the new DLC, and we'll explore more of it in the next episode. See you then! <laughs>